Hello, welcome back to Wendy's Colouring and today I'm doing the Christmas themed tag that lovely Kay tagged me in feels like ages ago, sorry Kay <laughs> I'm yeah, struggling to find the time to fit recording in at the moment but yeah, I thought I'd stop being naughty and get it done today so because um, this is a lovely tag as well. I don't think I don't think Kay knew who started this tag. So if anybody knows, do let me know in the comments and I'll add them into my description because I'm not sure. I had a quick look when I searched for the tag, but there seemed to be when I was looking at other people's videos, there seemed to be quite a few different lists of questions. So I'm not sure they're all the same tag. Anyway, if you know, let me know and I'll add it to the description because I think that's important if we can find it out. Um, today, as you can see, I'm doing Christmas Cuties uh, by Joshua Dunbar. This is the only Joshua Dunbar book that I owned up to now. And as you can see, so far I have been a fail in doing anything in Christmas Cuties because I've just been too busy with life, I suppose, sadly. So I've not had a huge amount of time for colouring up to now this month, but I think we're kind of over the busy bits. I've got a few more jobs to do, but I'm hoping to squash a bit more colouring in this week. Um, looking forward to trying to find a bit of time anyway. So yeah, I'm going to do a little page in Christmas Cuties. I quite like this little intro page with these little squares on. I think that's quite cute. But I did think I'd go from the beginning because I'm probably only going to get the one done this year because I'm a failure um, and have a go at doing a little bit of this. And I've fished out a good chunk of my... Um, Try brand brush just because it saves me having to get up and get down and reach my shelves it's quite easy because you've got three in one haven't you and you don't need to go rooting for loads of color matches or think a huge email about it i might regret trying to do color blending with a brush uh, alcohol pen whilst trying to answer questions apologies in advance if i have to stop and just finish the bit i'm coloring um because my brain can't do two things at once. But we'll see, I'll give it a go. It might be a disaster. Sorry if it is, if the colouring either might be rubbish or I may be unable to answer questions, but we'll see. Who knows? I like a Christmas themed anything. So yeah, fingers crossed it'd be all right. So what else have I got? Oh, I've got my little swatch chart of these to give me a hand to, because I'm never quite sure like what, what colour is that? I've just knocked over my list of questions. I'm in the middle of doing a colouring page in something else, which is quite far along, so I didn't want to do it with this. But as a result, I have stuff all around me. I've literally got a table full of stuff. So if halfway through I knock something and it's the sound of many things falling, that is why, because I've got paint pens, pencils, all of these out, my cup of tea the tat on this desk it all could come crashing down on me any minute sorry in advance if i have to pause and sort out my avalanche of stuff that's fall on me okay cut to the chase get to the point do i prefer to color in christmas themed pdfs or coloring books mm. i'll be honest i don't have a huge amount of pdfs of any description really I have some, I think it's Ellie Marks um, PDFs that I bought, yeah, quite a long time ago. And I bought some more this summer. I think she had a sale on at some point. Um, I popped it in the community tab when it was on. And I, I do quite like her stuff, but it does necessitate that I can um, get my printer to work, which some days, no, it does not want to work. Um, and I have an Epsom Eco Tank um, inkjet thing, which is good in that it is a great printer if you print a lot and you want to keep your costs down. I must admit, I use it a lot for school stuff because um, it's just easier when you're at home to print yourself some copies and then you've just got to get what you want actually copied. I've just made an error. I have not put anything behind this page. What an idiot. Something's got red on it. Oh, look at that. Swerved it. That could have been bad. <laughs> How did I not remember that? Anyway, I forgot what I said. Oh, yeah, the, t the printer. So, yeah, my printer's not um, super at taking thick, thicker cardstock. 
Um, so as a result, yeah, I, I, it's a bit of a battle trying to get anything printed onto something decent thickness wise. Um, like, like I say, I, I love it in that it's cheap to run. It really is cheap to run. If you just want a lot of black and white or even the colour really, because you're just buying literally liquid ink to put into it. Um, it, it still astounds me how many prints I've had out of it and before it needs a refill. That side of it, it's amazing. But the bad side is that I just can't get um, thicker paper through it without a real fight and then it ruins it a number of times and you don't want that when it's expensive paper, do you? So I think that kind of thing, that kind of battle puts me off PDFs a little bit, really. Um, it's not that I don't like them. Uh, but I think I am definitely a colouring book person, really. I, I like, I've always liked books, books of all sorts, reading books, art books. I have a lot of textile books. I do like books, I can't lie. I've got, I, I need a personal library, really. <laughs> can, I need, can we move house and just buy someone with a library? Yeah, no, we can't. Because <laughs> we can't afford that, you know, in reality. But, you know, if I won the lottery tonight, I haven't got a ticket, so it's not going to happen. But, yeah, a library. That's what I'd like for all my books. So, yeah, it's not that I don't like PDFs. It's that I don't like the hassle involved in maintaining, printing, fighting. Then I'm like, what What do I do with them now? Where do I put this now? I'm going to stick it in a sketchbook. I've got to get one of those portfolios. It's a lot of faff. I, I'm too lazy, I can't be bothered. Excuse me while I have some tea out of my whoop, Santa mug. I've spilt it all down his face. How rude of me. So yeah, I think it's not that I dislike them, but I think I do love a book. Um, so yeah, I tend to go book. Mm, what colour to do behind his nose? Should that be dark red? It's going to be dark red, I think. Put a little bit of dark red on. And then I kind of feel his beard should be a different colour. Maybe we'll try the lightest one. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, what else has he got? He's got little gloves and some trousers. Kind of think I want a green for his trousers. I do not know why. Let me pick a colour before I have a look at questions. Light green, Bren. Excuse me while I lean over to get another one. Um, okay, so yeah, where are we up to? Number two, what art supplies books are on your Christmas list this year? Oh. <laughs> if you've watched my channel this year, you will know that I have bought a lot of books this year. Way too many books this year. Don't get me wrong, I love them. We're back to my books again. I really like books. But realistically, Christmas list, obviously that means other people buy me the books. And as you probably have also noticed, I do tend to get books from anywhere and everywhere, which I wouldn't expect somebody else to try and order a book from Japan or order a book from Malaysia or even from the States, really, from here in the UK. So I've got to be honest, I don't actually have a huge amount of books on my Christmas lists for people because I didn't want them to have to go to the kind of stress of trying to find the rare, nobody's ever heard of this book, book that I would probably want at this point. I think I have asked for Maria Charles Moon Valley because I don't have that. Um, I don't, I think I was waiting for, I don't normally wait for the English version, but there seem to be um, mixed reviews of the paper in the newer ones. So I thought, well, we'll wait for the English version to come out and we'll try that one and see what the paper's like in that. It's probably both fine. Whatever it is, I'll manage to work with it. Let's be honest, this is Amazon paper. I'm still working with it. So I think that's on my list. But I don't think there's actually so many other um, books on my list, really. Um, I did write my list quite a while ago, so I'll be honest, I've totally, deliberately, I suppose, forgotten about it now. Because I thought, mm, I, I don't want to remember what I've got in my Christmas list. I want it to be a surprise when it happens. Uh, which, as I have no memory, that's quite helpful. 
But yeah, I'm probably not going to get many books for Christmas, surprisingly for me, I don't think. Um, because, like I say, I've bought a lot myself. Anything I do want now is the things that are a little bit harder to get hold of. So I don't think it's fair to ask somebody else to do that. It's, you know, it's scary enough when you start ordering from Japan yourself. I don't think it's fair to ask your rallies to do that as well, so... Yeah, surprisingly for me, not many, not many. I'm sure I will accidentally purchase a few after Christmas though, because you know me. <laughs> I'm bound to, aren't I? Uh, number three, do you prefer Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Well, I like both, but which do I prefer? Hmm. That is a question. So let me pick a colour first. Dark red blend, what colour is that? Very dark. Um. I quite like Christmas Eve when you've got to that point where you've done all your jobs and you can finally just relax and appreciate the time and maybe watch a really nice Christmas film or listen to a bit of relaxing Christmassy music or I do quite like that point where you know everything's wrapped and you're done you can just relax a little bit I do like that point I think that's really nice but I enjoy Christmas morning as well but yeah I think I prefer Christmas Eve really that anticipation of things to come um yeah I think I'll go with Christmas Eve I think I prefer that um, I think that's still the corner of the parcel isn't it rather than the ribbon it is now <laughs> it is now and that is as well Mm, what's my next question? I keep losing my place on the list, sorry. Uh, do you find yourself adding more sparkle to your Christmas themed colouring pages? Stickles, confetti, glitter gel pens, most definitely yes, definitely yes. I, I think I like a little bit of um, sparkle anyway on any page. I don't need a Christmas as an excuse, but yeah, I can't, I can't say that I've not had um, the stickles out and my pretend stickles whatever it's called that I always forget what it's called um, gel pens my glitter markers most definitely what's the point of doing Christmas pages if you're not going to get a bit of sparkle on it surely that's the point of them got to be surely isn't it yeah I like a bit of sparkle uh, but like I say I like a bit of sparkle anyway I like a bit of metallic I think I want stronger yellow. Let me just get one. Excuse me, leaning across. Hopefully, it won't knock something off. How strong is that? Very strong. It's a bit insipid this yellow that I've got on already. I wanted something a bit brighter. Or at least brighter in bits. Um. But yeah, I like a bit of it all. I like bits of metallic paints obviously but I enjoy using them anyway my glitter gel pens and my Signo uh, crystal -y ones I forget is that what they're called? I can't remember what they're called but yeah I like those a lot and the Pentel jewels I like those a lot as well um, I'm probably pushing my look adding a bit of brown to this bow because it's now already wet but if I was being sensible, I should leave it, but I'm not. Sorry, concentrating. <laughs> An attempt to not wreck this bow. There we go. Okay. So yes, most definitely more sparkle, but I like a lot of sparkle anyway, so... Is it more? I think it probably is more. Most pages will sparkle at the end of this month, I think. Uh, who are your go-to artists for Christmas-themed pages? Um, I think I've always loved a Clara Markova Christmas page. They're over the top. They're a bit crazy, aren't they? Um, but yeah, they're sweet. They're very... Um, they're not easy colour, but they're very interesting to colour. I, I find they're inspiring. I think I did the 
double page with the owls last year for Christmas and I think I'm going to do um, one of the new Christmas pages out the new book that I've just got but I you know I like all of them really they're all really sweet little pages um, so she's a definite go-to for Christmas for me um, I'm loving RJ Hansen's Christmas book this year but he's been a go-to artist for me all year really um, so again that's not really surprising to me I was kind of thinking I'd probably buy a Coco Wyo Christmas book this year I thought they'd be you know releasing quite a few for Christmas because they obviously did loads for Halloween uh, but yeah the, the couple that they've had this year yeah they haven't um, called to me sadly so I haven't I think I've bought this one I bought the RJ Hampson one is that it? let me look at my shelf just a sec uh, oh yeah I bought um, Morgan O'Brien but Matchstick Mouse I suppose he's pretty go to Christmassy uh, artist isn't he with his Matchstick Mouse he's got a season book for every, every season I think hasn't he so um, maybe him as well and I quite like that little um, Christmas book I think that's quite cute they're good little Christmas um, quick colour I quite like because it's a Japanese copy the one I've got can use a little bit of watercolour in it I'm thinking I'm going to watercolour it again this month because it's really nice change to be able to do that um, can't do it in many books that I get from Amazon obviously uh, so that yeah that's quite a nice Christmassy author but yeah I quite like books like Clara's where you've got a little bit of everything um, and it's not just a Christmas book it, you know it's I always look forward to a Christmas colour but it's over with pretty quickly isn't it and I, I don't think I want hundreds of Christmas books because I'm not someone that really would colour them at other points of the year I don't tend to do Christmas in July very often so I think it would feel a bit wasteful for me to have loads of Christmas books I haven't got you know hundreds of them uh, hundreds of other books definitely but not hundreds of Christmas colouring books and I'm I am quite picky about what colouring books I'll have for Christmas you know I don't want anything that's too patterny or um, too repetitive so yeah I haven't got loads but yeah I enjoy all of those authors and I think they're a good uh, Christmas colour for me personally uh, Christmas Heaven what Christmas elements do you love to colour the most? Um, well, I always love like this little cheeky, sweet little looking characters. Um, Christmas trees, I think I have a bit of a love hate uh, relationship with colouring a Christmas tree. Early on in the Christmas colouring season, I quite like doing a Christmas tree then. I did quite a few in my uh, November colouring. Um, and I quite enjoyed doing those and now I'm kind of at the point where I'm like there's some trees on this page can I be bothered with them I just don't know <laughs> so yeah trees I definitely have a love-hate relationship with snow people I don't mind that at all they're quite cute and it's they're normally quite quick aren't they mushrooms obviously I really like what else have we got in here that remind me of what themes oh I love doing um, a nutcracker soldier thing I don't know why but yeah this, that that's me sold on a Christmas book if I look in it and they've got like a nutcracker um, soldier thing I don't know what the proper name for them is um, gingerbread again love and hate it's a lot of brown isn't it I'm no lover of working with loads of brown but then I kind of think oh the sweet bits yeah I quite like that bit sometimes I like that sometimes I don't I'm not a great lover of colouring Santa I've got to be honest don't quite know why that's quite a cute page this book is just doing its own thing I don't think I've coloured a Christmas rabbit before who knows candles again love and hate sometimes I'm not quite in the mood for it but I've got to be in the mood for it 
snow globes. I'm still checking out on snow globes because I'm like, oh, this needs quite a lot of reflection, surely. Because it's glass, it's got to be curved. And it'd be nice if I could just get over myself and just colour in these bits and not worry about the glass bit of it. But that's not who I am. <laughs> if I look back at it and think, yeah, but you've made a right mess of that glass, Wendy, then I won't do it. <laughs> So yeah, if I'm feeling brave, I might tackle a snow globe because I really would like to do a snow globe. But I need to do a bit of research on shading on a snow globe because I don't think guessing it off the top of my head is going to be it. Um, but yeah, I quite like lots of things to do with Christmas colouring, really. Ponsettias, I always like those. I don't quite know why. But yeah, I do enjoy a ponsettia colour. Um, I can't think of anything, any other elements that I might want to colour as part of it, but pretty much anything Christmassy and I'm in. As long as it's not too repetitive and you're not having to do the same thing a million times. I'm sure you know the kind of thing I mean. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I'm pretty much... I enjoy the colour schemes for Christmas. I think it's really nice. I don't mind whether it's gone kind of warm, red-green like this, or blue purple pink more kind of um, icy tone I don't mind which of those I do because I enjoy both of those colour themes I quite like both of those I'm just waffling now sorry Christmas hell what Christmas elements do you dislike colouring oh uh, yeah see I don't really think I've got anything that I really hate colouring in terms of Christmas I'll say that and then I pick a book up later and think, ugh, not colouring that. <laughs> no way! Um, I don't think there is anything I absolutely hate. Like I say, I don't like anything that's too repetitive because that can get a bit boring, can't it? Mm, where's the red that I need? Is that it? What's that one? Dark. That's the one. That's the one. Um, but yeah, I don't think I, I hate really, I don't really think I hate any of them. I'm easily pleased. If it's Christmassy, I'm, I'm probably in. As long as, I suppose if it's if it's too patterny, that would put me off a little bit, if I'm honest. But in the main, it'll all be good. Uh, Christmas hell. Oh no, I've done that one. Sorry, can't count. Artificial tree or real tree? Mm. Well, I've done both. We've, and a lot of years, I do both. Both. All the time. Because in the house, we I do have a artificial tree. But it kind of looks like a real one. Obviously not quite. Because, you know, they're never quite, do they? No matter how good they are. Um, but in the conservatory, I quite often get a Nordman fir. Um, but even in there, it loses a, a lot of needles. I do not enjoy cleaning up needles. Um, so I think it depends on how lazy I'm being. <laughs> if I'm not being lazy, we will get one because the smell is unlike anything else. And I seem to be allergic to a lot of those terrible pretend make my tree smell like a real tree stick things that people put on them. Um, yeah, I can't even go in the, the garden centre near me. That they, they seem to hang these stick things off the artificial trees. And yeah, I can't breathe. <laughs> and then about five minutes of walking around, I'm like, <gasps> I need to get off here. I'm seriously allergic to whatever that chemical is. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, don't like it at all. So, yeah, I do like a real tree. I think the smell is beautiful. I like old people dislike clearing it up afterwards but then who doesn't that's the whole point isn't it um we're quite lucky in that my bin men we have a green bin collection and as long as it's not a monster that i've collected i can normally get it into the green bin if you chop it up with a bit of a saw and they take it to, for recycling so i can sometimes get it into my green bin which does make life a bit easier that you don't have to put a lot of pine needles in the car to get rid and all of that because that's not for no fun at all um but 
but yeah on my years where I've got time I think a real treat is beautiful and smells lovely but the lazy part of me thinks no just get the uh, get the other one out <laughs> it'll be easier so I like both I, I'm swerving that and saying I like both depends on what your artificial tree looks like as well I think there are some dreadful ones out there let's be honest but it's a matter of personal taste if you like it who cares what anybody else thinks uh, what's your all-time favourite Christmas page uh, that you've coloured? Mm. I'm going to pause and get it because there's no point talking about it without it being there, is there? Hold on. And I'm back. But can I find the page? So I think <laughs> this page that I've got is massive and obviously I'm working in a tiny book so you're really zoomed in. Um, so I think... This is probably one of my favourite colouring pages from the past. Obviously I've done um, double page in Romantic Country last month. I do quite like that as well. But yeah, I have good memories of working on this one. I don't love the background. The background's gone to mess a little bit, but you know, I quite like these little comedy owls. And they're kind of not particularly, typically... Um, Christmassy are they? I, I like doing an owl. I love doing the pancetia. I've no great love of baubles. I don't quite know why. I like a present. Um, but yeah, I think it's this page probably. It's the one that comes to mind out of my rubbishy B&M uh, Christmas colouring book. But yeah, any Christmas page I enjoy. So um, I, like I say, I quite enjoyed my romantic country ones from last month as well. So I quite like that one as well. But most Christmas pages I've enjoyed. Um, definitely enjoyed doing all my Clara Markova. Markova? I can't speak. Markova <laughs> pages. I did a couple of those last Christmas as well. I enjoyed those as well. Um, and question number 10. Will I be calling on Christmas Day? Mm, it's probably unlikely, let's be honest. Um... It's finding time, isn't it? And I don't think, it, unfortunately, I colour upstairs, in my room upstairs. So I think if I'm going to be colouring on Christmas Day, that's going to be a touch antisocial. <laughs> so I don't think that would go down too well, really. Um, so, yeah, no, probably not, sadly. Uh, maybe late, it depends what time we, everything's done. And people, I'm not sure I understand. Oh, cheeky watch butting in so yeah probably not um sadly but that's that sums christmas up for me really i find it quite tricky to fit some colouring time in um i think it's it's just a really busy season and like by the time you've finished decorating the house which i i love having a decorated house it's cozy and especially here in the UK at the moment it's been very very cold for us here I know there are places watching that have way colder um, than us but for us it's been pretty cold um, a lot of people near me not getting keeping their water supply because it's all frozen um, fortunately we've swerved that and touch wood been okay so far um, but yeah, it's a, it's a busy time of year, isn't it? And sadly, as much as I love colouring Christmas things, the reality is there is a lot of other things that need doing. When you're having people over, you can't exactly <laughs> leave the place unhoovered and all of that, can you? So sadly, cleaning, decorating the house. This is too strong, this blue. It is not the blue I was looking for. Hopefully that will dry lighter than it looks at the moment because I feel the need to take some of that out. Where's my clear pen? There, that'll do. Um, so yeah, sadly, not as much as I would like. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, my watch is going to go in the bin shortly. Why do you keep butting in, watch? <laughs> Sorry. 
I might try and edit him out, but I've been yapping on, haven't I? So it's probably not going to happen. Um, how will you be spending Christmas this year with my family? And what better way is the um, hopefully no rows, crossing fingers. <laughs> But yeah, it's always nice to spend a bit of time with family, isn't it? Um, see those people that you don't get to spend anywhere near enough time with normally. Um, and just have a nice relaxing time, hopefully. With uh, just hoping the weather is okay for people travelling. Because like I say, today, it's rained here today on top of the ice and it was literally lethal. Um, I had to walk the dog today and I, I've roped my husband in just purely because it was right. I was going to slip on my backside because the dog just wants to... She obviously has no issues with the ice at all. She does not fall over. It does not seem to bother her at all. And so just when you're on the the like most lethal looking bit she'll pull you at that moment and I'm like no when I get pulled at that moment I want somebody to hold on to so yeah I'm hoping the weather gets just a touch warmer so it's not quite so hazardous out there it's been it's it's looked beautiful over the last couple of weeks though it's just been frost everywhere every day pretty much which looks very pretty until you've got to walk a dog. And my dog walks quickly all the time. She is not going anywhere slow. You've got to get a move on. <sighs> got to keep up. She's got speed legs. Even though she's tiny, she's tiny and mighty. Yeah, and I think I'm out of questions. So thank you very, very much to Kay for tagging me in this lovely Christmas tag. I always love a bit of Christmas. I love colouring it, love talking about it, love decorating for it. Yeah, it's, it's one of my favourite seasons. Um, I have no idea who created this tag. Thank you very much, whoever you are. By all means, do let me know. If it was you, I shall add you into the description. Um, if you are a person that has a lovely colouring channel and no one has tagged you in this tag, consider this is me tagging you in this tag. Have a go at it. It's a great little tag. It's very nice little um, discussion. Easy to have, I think. But yeah, as it's pretty much later on in the season, I'm not going to force anybody to do it. But if anybody would like to have a go, please do. Tag me and say, I tagged you. <laughs> That's totally fine. But yeah, have a go at it if you'd like. I think it's a nice little tag to do. Um, hopefully I'll get the rest of this little cutie finished off. Um, for the end of the month out of my Christmas cuties by Joshua Dunbar yeah I quite like these little cute pages I'm so glad I didn't go through earlier what an idiot although he, he's probably going to be red anyway isn't he so thankfully I've swerved it hurrah but yeah hope you're doing something lovely for Christmas and your plans are going well hope you're getting a bit of time for your colouring to go in as well and that I've not bored you rigid waffling on about nothing for probably half an hour now yes half an hour <laughs> sorry happy Christmas to you all hope you're having a great time bye bye <laughs>